so we we back. Um, and we back and we back and we back and we back. This ain't that. Um, I wanted to skip to that part. Like Auntie Ya say, my daughter go to heaven, mother. If she ever find another, you better love her. <gasps> so what's going on, y'all? JK in the building. Um, we want to thank everybody so much for sending us questionnaires. People have been sending us questionnaires. And they want to hear our opinions and our views on their questions. I think that's really cool. Please keep. Yeah, we've, got, we've actually gotten quite a few questions. And I was kind of surprised. I was like, what? Like, okay. You want to hear J and K? Ah. So um, please keep sending those questions. And if you have anything that you would like to ask us, we'll answer. What was the question? What was the question? The question was, how, how do, do you know, know if, if a the, person the, is the, the one? one? Yeah, how do you know if the person is the one? So... We feel like we know how we knew that, like how I knew he was the one, he knew I was the one, but we can't really tell somebody else how they should know the person is the one necessarily because right. it differs depending on the situation and the person. Um, but we did find a few questions that'll help guide you to knowing that. Right. Um, on HuffPost, we'll put the person that wrote it in the description below. Um, and it was like 13 questions. We're only going to look at a few of them right now. The ones that we felt were real. Yeah, that so. could really help for where we are right now and where you are right now. Yeah. So the first question we're going to talk about for you to think about is what does your future look like? So basically what they're saying there is like, can you see yourself growing old with this person? Do y'all have the same goals and dreams? You don't have to have the same exact goals and dreams because right. you're two different people. You don't want to give up on your goals for somebody else, but do they kind of align with each other? For us, I feel like I could definitely see myself growing old with him because he's my best friend. And it's like you get to live with your best friend for the rest of your life. Everything's not always perfect. There's a lot of times when there's like some rough stuff. Like that's life though. When it's two humans dealing with each other, it's going to be times that are a little difficult to deal with, but it's how you get through those times. We have so much fun together. Like I'm the most, I'm the, I'm a very fun person. So if I was with somebody that was just blah for the rest of my life, like no, I have, I want somebody that I can do things that most people feel uncomfortable around somebody doing. Like you know what I'm saying? I feel like that with him. Um, also, when it comes to our goals and stuff, we are pretty passionate about the same things. Um, our thought process on how to get there have been different, but since we've come together, you know, um, we've kind of figured that part out. So the next question was, how do you, can you compromise? And that's a big thing. That's one of, if not the most important thing, compro compromising, because reality is when you have two strong personalities like me and her, um, or if you're... <laughs> <laughs> or if you or you have a if you're dating somebody that has a very strong personality and you have a uh, somewhat submissive personality it still has to a comp compromising has to be in the forefront because the person that's you know very chill they don't want to feel like they're always you know submitting every single time and the person that's dominant doesn't want to feel like you know they can, he, they can run just over run over you because that's going to be like wow nobody really wants that so it has to be a compromising and when you have personalities me and Kay, our personalities are very huge so it takes a lot of compromising which causes us to like bump heads sometimes but it's okay because you know i'll say you know what i feel like i'm right i feel like my background is right here i i mean i'm strong in what i feel but i love her enough to say you know what you're right today whether i feel like it um, or not. It's not about being right. It's about being happy. So remember that. And like for me, I feel like I'm the type of person, honestly, that always thinks I'm right. I think I know everything. That's one of my flaws. Um, I can finally admit that. <laughs> um, in the past, with compromising in, other, in past relationships, I feel like it's been pretty difficult. I feel like I still did what I was supposed to do as a um, partner when it came to it but he's the person that's been easiest to compromise with um, as far as like the submitting thing I would never with anybody else you know but like with him I trust him enough to allow him to lead sometimes thank you baby <laughs> I'm just like 
Kiss it. Thank you. You know, because I, I try, y'all. I, I really try to deal with the inner secrecy that I have to deal with on a consistent basis. But, um, yeah, I thank you for that. Debate. So the other question was, what has that person taught you? So that's something you have to think about when trying to figure out if that person is the one or not. What have they taught you? If you can't learn anything from that person, in my opinion, They're they may not, not be the one. Facts. Like I said earlier, I think I know everything. But when it came to him, like, after having conversations with him and stuff, like, I, I'm, first of all, let's put this out there. I'm not the type of person that's like, oh, I've never been like, I'm going to get married and I'm going to have like this kind of wedding and I'm going to fall in love with Prince Charming. Like, never believed in that stuff. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. Um, but with him, like, I literally felt like, oh, shoot, like, this is real. Like, I felt like I could learn a lot from him. I feel like we balance each other a lot because like our lives, the way we grew up are totally different. First of all, he's from whatever new york get it right stand up i see everybody from there y'all know how we do baby mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's 33 he's old what's up <laughs> what's up i'm 26 she about to catch these hands but anyways um he's taught me a lot when it comes to like being conscious of certain things um a lot of things concerning like spirituality that I never really thought about before. Um, he taught me a lot of things about like how to control things using my mind. That might sound weird, but yeah, that he's not work. Yeah, he's and a lot of things that I already had, like I knew that I possessed within, he kind of like confirmed those things and helped me to grow with those things. Um that's real real if I could say something. Um, she, one thing that she did for me is I, all, I love people. I always have loved people, but she made me look at people different. Um, my background is a little bit different towards people. We were taught to love everybody, but subconsciously to stand off people, stand away from people or treat people that's different, different, if you can catch my drift. Um, and she kind of really, I always felt some kind of way to help people. I always wanted to help and not not treat people any any kind of way and I never did for the most part but she even changed my subconscious even my inner thoughts that I was thinking well should I treat people some kind of way or should I act standoffish she really changed that for me and I felt like somebody that again always knows everything so I don't really need help and it's hard because I'm older and I think to myself I know everything as it is you can't it's hard to break me down I'm just this person that already knows I done been there before no and to have some young kid um, try to you know change your mind Boy. anyways like i said i feel like we balance each other he's helped me in that department i feel like i've helped him when it comes to dealing with living no you helped me she helped that's what me. i'm saying yeah i taught you those things she like. taught me how to live y'all like she taught me how to not care about what people feel like look, look at this one but i mean for real because i mean y'all gotta understand on some on some real stuff like i came from a background where everybody judged you and you know not, and he legit not, like lives his life based on what people will think what like, he did before yeah. and i am this is him right here and i'm way she side. gives no cares if if you was a cousin. I don't she, care who she you gives are. no f's. That's what they I don't say. care if you're Barack Obama. Like, like yes, I know how to act in certain situations. I know there's a time and place for everything, whatever. But like, when it comes to doing what makes me happy or what I feel like is okay, like I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna think twice about what somebody's gonna think. I'm gonna do it because it makes me happy. I'm not gonna not do it because of what people will think. That was, your, that was your stance. But I mean, that was real. Like, y'all, that was huge for me. I wanted to, I always wanted to go out and do stuff, try different things. But I was afraid that, you know, I would be judged and people would look at me different because I've, my, my former life, as you will, I had people held me to such a high standard that I couldn't fall. 
and I was looked at upon so, so quote unquote great that people, oh, that's what you're doing now. So now my life now, some people may look at it and be like, oh, he done fell off. He probably doing something different. It's like, and I don't care, you know, and it's like, do what I want to do. Yeah. Go ahead. Like it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it was tough. The journey was tough, but you got to live your life for you. You can't live your life for nobody else. Cause if you live your life for somebody else, then at the end of the day, when that person is dead and gone, you never lived. And at the end of the day, those people are still human and they're still living on this earth and they still have their flaws as well right so yes like you may think you be you may be living your life based on what they may think but like they first of all they may not even be focusing on that much and if they are it's like well what are you doing in your life why are you so focused on what i'm doing like why do you care like right. why are you not enjoying your life enough to not be worried about what the next person is doing like right like who how does can, that and, and and that's so true like that's a big thing and i mean not who does that, because a lot of people do that, but y'all need to get a life if you do. Right. I mean, like, and, and that's that's real, babe. I feel like, you know, even in that, even in the same breath, um, when you're choosing your mate, um, when you're looking for, see if this person is the one, you have to be able, that person has to, it's no such thing as complete you, but in a sense, complete you. Why? Because they bring that other side of you that you hid so long, they know how to bring that out of you. So now you feel complete. You, and people do that all the time. It's motivational speakers, pastors, uh, uh, mentors they do that for you too as well where they just you go listen to a couple of seminars and now that subconscious nature that was afraid that you were so afraid of being yourself now you can be yourself well it even feels better when you're with a mate that you're going to be with for the rest of your life or you're dating somebody that brings that that side that you were afraid to show they bring it out of you and say hey who's that guy right there bring him out i like him let's out let's make him comfortable to be out in the world and That's same cool. for me like with me like when it came to talking about religion spirituality anything Anything like that like I would literally like that's one like I'm very confident when it comes to a whole bunch of stuff when it comes to talking about that type of stuff like I will shut down I won't say anything I'll just be like because my views are different than other people's views when it comes to certain things so like I just would always like from a young age I can remember like I would like I would cry when it came to certain conversations because I'll just be like it's too much <laughs> but with him He's taught me how to be able to have those conversations. He's made me feel comfortable about those conversations. He's made me feel comfortable about the things that I was confused about. He's taught me a lot of things in that area, and it's just great. So I mean, so and and we don't we're not trying to talk your head off, but at the end of the day, um, know this that when you're choosing a one, you can never really know if that person is the one. But those four, and it's some more on the list that we got it, that we will leave in the link below. We that, just felt like these yeah, were the most that, like important, like, and that kind of helped us to know about each other so Cause you and you want to know about each other like you don't want to just say oh my god she's so beautiful oh my god he's so handsome oh he got nice lips and she got pretty eyes and no now all that junk is surface you want to know how this person thinks what are their flaws you know can i compromise with this person do i have a it's kind of crazy person? that like we kind of know what each other is thinking now like literally like i can tell him something without saying anything i could yeah i i, I is that weird to say no, it's not. That's, oh, that's real. That's like real. We, I like, can, that's like, real. Like, it's real. Like, I can feel her. And I'm sure, and if you and you have a connection with somebody, you can too. I can feel her when she's stressed, and I'll be at my job, and I'll say, I'll call her and say, hey, what, what you got going on? And then she'll be like, how did you know that? Because you're connected. But you, when a person pulls that subconscious nature out of you, and for those that don't know what subconscious nature is, it's those, thought, it's those inner thoughts that you have inside, like... I don't know. What should I do? Your fears. When a person pulls your fears out and actually deals with them and you have to actually see your fears in front of your face and you'd be like, I can do this. I can defeat my fears. When a person brings that out of you, oh my God, you, you know that person is the one because they cause you to complete yourself not them completing you but they show cause you, you to complete, yes they cause you to complete yourself right oh, i said that yeah, yeah no, i repeated you yeah thank you baby yes <laughs> you see that she actually did that completion right, but yeah aha but, so we may do some of the focus on some of the other questions in a different video but we just wanted to make one. this a little quick um kind of yeah, we tried anyway. So we don't be trying to have long-winded conversations, but we just we get so excited with everybody that we want to finish this. So we do want to thank y'all so much for joining us. Wine glasses, please. He has a little ratchet plastic one. It is what it is. <laughs> Wine down Wednesdays. That's exactly what it is. So listen, at the end of the day, be you. And if you want that person to be the one, deal with the tough conversations. Huh? <laughs> JK Show.